So right here, I've got a standard Drupal site and I've used the Devel Generate submodule, which comes with Devel to, to generate dummy content, which is very useful um, when you create search pages. So to create a search page, just go to configuration and then click on search pages in the search and metadata section. And from here, you can control a few things such as the indexing, uh, the number of items that need to be indexed. But the section that we are most interested in is this search pages section. And from here, you can control default ones like the content, which allows you to search the nodes, so articles and basic page, and also users, which allows you to search using their username. But right now, let's go ahead and create our, our own search page. And we do this by selecting the type of search page we want to create. And so I'll select content from search page type and click on add new page. And in the label section, give it a name. I'll give it something original such as site and under, under path, give it a path name. Now a limitation with this, uh, with these types of search pages is that the path will always have a prefix of search. So in this example, the URL to this search page will be search slash site. And for the other ones, it'll be search slash node. And for the user one, it'll be search slash users or user, I'm not quite sure. And then under here, you can control uh, the content ranking for this particular page. But let's leave everything as is and click on add search page. Let's just scroll back down and do two more things. First, we'll change the order so that site appears before uh, content and users. And I'll click on site configuration to store that. And the last thing we'll do with our page is set it as default so that when somebody goes directly to slash, uh, slash search, they'll be redirected to search slash site. Okay, now before we can test everything out, make sure you have actually indexed the site or nothing will appear in the search result. And the simplest way to do this is to run cron manually. And you can do this by clicking on uh, cron maintenance task and then just click on run cron. Now this can take between 10 to 20 seconds, depending how much content you have, but generally it will take around uh, 15 seconds. So let's just wait for this. All right, perfect, cron has run and, and hopefully it has indexed all our content. So let's just go to the front page or the home page, and I'll type in a keyword which I know works and I'll search using this particular keyword. And perfect, and you can see all of the search results being returned, which is great. And here you can see the three different search pages. We have sites, which is the one we, we, we created. We have content, which allows you to search um, basic page and articles. And then we have users, which lets you search users. And you can see that the site one is first because we reordered it. And then here you can search using keywords by entering in keywords into this text field. And you also have the ability to do advanced search by opening this advanced search field set. And next, let's look at the permissions, okay? And to manage the permissions, just go to people and click on permissions and scroll down until you hit the search section. All right, here we go, right here. Okay, so the search module comes with three permissions. You have administer search. This permission gives users access to the search pages page which we were on to create the actual search page. And normally you would only give this to a trusted user. The next one is advanced search, use advanced search. This gives users access to the advanced search field set, which I just showed you. And the last one, the most important is use search. And without this one, you won't get access to the actual search page. And as you can see, if you install Drupal using the standard installation profile, both the anonymous and authenticated user role have access to this use search. So make sure uh, users have access to this role. Now, 
let's just go back to our search page and I'll talk about this one tab, this users tab. Um, you may have noticed that there is no access users uh, search or use users search. And that is because to access that tab, you need to give users the view user information permission. Now, this isn't intuitive, I must admit. There is nothing that tells you this permission is required to access the tab. I had to look in the actual code to figure out the permission. But if you want to give users access to this tab, make sure you give them the view user information. Now, be careful who you give access to this role because they will be able to see a list of all usernames and also the user profiles. So again, it depends on the type of site you are building. Okay, so the next and final thing I will show you is how to modify the search results. And the easiest way to do this is to overwrite a template like most things in Drupal. And let me jump into PHP Storm, which is my text editor of choice, sorry, IDE of choice. And if we go to core, uh, modules, and then find search, templates, you'll see that there's a tweak template called search-result.html.tweak. And this template is used to render the search results. But because we are using Bartek, and Bartek uses Classy as the base theme, we need to modify the search result template, which has been overridden in the Classy theme because Classy already overrides it. So let's just go to, again, make sure you're in core and then themes, Classy, templates, and finally content, make sure you're in the content uh, directory. You'll see that there's a template called search result.html.tweak. And here you can see that we have extra markup and also a few extra methods. And if we compare it with the original, you can see that Classy has a few extra things. So it's best to modify and uh, grab a copy of this template, which is in Classy instead of the one which comes with the search module. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this and go into Bartek. Uh, templates and paste it in there. Now, normally you wouldn't modify a core theme, but for this video, we're just going to drop the template in there. And what I'll do is I will just put a bit of markup to know that it's been modified. And then once you're ready, make sure you rebuild the cache. So I'll use Drush to rebuild the site cache. You can also rebuild the site cache by going into performance, into the performance page or using Drupal console. Okay, so that's been rebuilt. So if we refresh the page, hopefully, we'll see a few dashes, which means everything's been overridden. Perfect, so you can see here that our template is working, which is great, but let's just remove this submitted by. Sometimes you may not want admin and, and the date to appear. So the easiest way to do that is to just, let me remove that, is to simply remove this if section and then hit save and refresh. And that's it. And now all we are left with is the title and the keyword results.